Hello, ni hao and assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a warm welcome to everyone here today. My name is No Yusrina Hanani Binti Yusran and I am delighted to present an exciting topic which is the formation and structure of sodium chloride crystal. Crystals are not just visually stunning, they are also key to many scientific and practical applications. Today, we will uncover what crystalline materials are, how they form and specifically focus on sodium chloride, commonly known as stable salt. Let's start with a brief explanation. Crystalline materials are substance where atoms, ions, or molecules are arranged in a highly ordered and repeating pattern. This gives crystals their distinct shape and unique properties. Some crystals form naturally like quartz or snowflake, while others are synthetic like sodium chloride. These materials are significant due to their uses from food seasoning to critical roles in electronics. The process of crystallization occurs in two main stages, which is nucleation and growth. First, nucleation stage. Crystallization begins when the solution becomes supersaturated, meaning it contains more solute like sodium chloride than the solvent which is water can hold. As water evaporates, the concentration of sodium and E plus and chloride Cl- ion increase. This ion aggregate due to the electrostatic attraction, forming a nucleus. This nucleus acts as C for crystal growth, making the first stage of crystallization. Second, growth stage. After the nucleus form, more and A plus and Cl- ion are attracted to it. This ion align alternately following their opposite charge to form a stable repeating structure. The result is the familiar cubic crystal of sodium chloride with smooth face and sharp edge arranged in a face center cubic lattice structure. To demonstrate this process, we need the following apparatus and material. First, a mug. Second, a spoon. Third, non iodized salt. For a water, fifth a stove, six a plate, seven a digital scale, eight a rice ladle, nine a pot, and lastly a strainer. Each of these items is essential for creating the condition needed to observe the crystallization of sodium chloride. In the upcoming video, you will see how I use these materials to prepare a supersaturated solution leading to the formation of salt crystals. As the water evaporates, the ion in the solution align themselves to form crystal, demonstrating the nucleation and growth stage we discussed earlier. Measure 40 grams of salt using digital weight. Measure 100 mm of water. Pour water into a pot and heat it. Add salt gradually, stirring with rice ladder until fully dissolved. Turn off the stove and transfer the solution into a clean cup. Strain the solution into a clean plate to remove any impurities. During the crystallization process, you will notice a gradual aggregation of ions into a nucleus. Over time, layers of ions attach to the growing crystal, forming sharp edge cubic shaped crystal. The key observation is how sodium Na plus and chloride Cl minus ion alternately align in a precise geometric patterns. This orderly arrangement results in a stable and well-defined structure. When sodium chloride dissolves in water, it separates into Na plus and Cl minus ions, which move freely in the solution. As the water evaporates, the solution becomes supersaturated and ion aggregate into a nucleus. From here, 
they align alternately due to their opposite charge, creating a stable and repeating 3D pattern. Let's talk about the atomic packing factor or APF. First, the definition. APF is the ratio of the volume occupied by atom to the total volume of the unit cell. The formula is straightforward which is APF equals the volume of atom divided by the volume of the unit cell. One of the most efficient structure in the face center cubic or FCC lattice. It has an APF value of 0.74 meaning 74% of the space is occupied by atoms. This efficient packing minimizes empty space. The high APF is crucial for stability in materials like NaCl as it is reduced void and enhanced ionic bonding strength. Here you can see the FCC lattice. The sphere represents atoms and arrange to maximize packing efficiency while minimizing empty space. In conclusion, the formation of sodium chloride crystal exemplifies the beauty of nature's precision. From nucleation to growth, the process showcases the orderly pattern and stability of crystalline materials. Thank you for your attention. I hope you have enjoyed this exploration into the science of crystal and I look forward to answering your question in chatbot.